Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Shout out to CPC. L link to the Discord will be in the description. And uh, yeah, okay. So, in this video, we will be looking at based fibre and cofibre sequences. And uh, yes, I do have a little song about the Smash product which I'll define in a second, um, which I made in the shower, I'm very proud of it, okay. And, uh, well yeah, I'm just gonna start by defining the Smash product, okay, so I guess I'll sing the song, okay. Smash product, smash product between X and Y, this is what it looks like, smash product, smash product, how is it defined? You do the Cartesian product, mod the wedge sum. Smash product, smash product, this is how it's defined. Okay, I think, I, I just made that song because it has such a cool name and um, I, I was just singing in the shower. But uh, yeah, that's how it's defined. And the wedge product, or the wedge sum, wedge product, I don't know. I think both are fine, but x wedge y, this is equal to so x y, where x or y is the base point in x or y, okay? So this is for base spaces x and y, okay? Right, uh, now, now that we've defined the smash product, the smash product, bumba clapped, my favourite word, bumba clapped, pow, smash, okay, I just, yeah, I just love the name, <laughs> the smash product, um, yeah, that's how it's defined, okay, with a quotient spaces, check out topology 1.8 if you don't know what quotient spaces are, etc. Um, but yeah, okay, uh, now... Um, let's talk about something. Oh, I, oh yeah, I was, okay. So we have uh, the function space, capital F of X, Y. Okay, so this is a subspace. Okay, consisting of of, um, Maps, based maps from X to Y with the constant a based map as base point. Okay, and a based map is just a map which sends base points to base points, okay? Pretty sure that that fact is based. That opinion is based. It's a fact. So, you know. okay. And uh, yeah. All right. Okay. And um, we have a natural homomorphism between f of x smash product y and z. This is homeomorphic to f of x. And then we f of y. Z. This is a natural homeomorphism between the two. Okay. Now, uh, using the smash product and um, some generic base point star, let's say of x, and let's choose one as a base point. Okay. We can define the cone. Okay. We can define the cone of x. So c of x. This is the cone. Okay. And it's defined as x, and then you do smash product with i. Okay. This is not intersection, this is smash product. Sorry. Let me just make that exception clear. Okay. Right, uh, so this would equal x cross i mod, and uh, we'll do star as some generic base point for x. So we'll have a um, i cross star union, and um, 
Then we'll pick one as the base point for i in this case. X cross one. Okay. Right, now we can define the suspension of x with these smash products. Okay, this is defined as sigma of x. It looks like this. And this is defined as x, and then you smash product with the one sphere. And this is equal to, well, x cross the one sphere. And we can again pick one as a generic base point for the one sphere. So we'll mod it with out with s, the one sphere cross some generic base point star, union, the one, uh, x cross 1. Okay? This is the suspension of x. Alright, now, um, this suspension of x will be very important in a second when we define the curve sequences and this, so on. Right? Um, but now, uh, we can define the loop space, okay? And this will be very important. This idea of the loop space will be very important in the next video where we define higher homotopy groups, which is a very exciting topic. Um, but yeah, the loop space will be important. And it's defined as omega of x. And this is equal to f of s1 x. So it's the set of maps, based maps, from the one sphere to x. Okay, and um, uh, with this definition here, we see from this fact that we have a homo homeomorphism f of, well, x, in this case will be x, y will be the one sphere, and z will just be z. Uh, z can be this, z can be like this x here, for example. So we have x where, uh, smash the one sphere, right? And then we have Z, which is um, this um, um, let's say this space is Z, okay? Let's say this space here is Z. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sure you see where I'm going with this, but just for simplicity. Alright, we have Z here. Well, this is homeomorphic to f of x, and then f of s1, z, which is exactly this. So we have f of the suspension of x, comma, um, y. Okay, this is homeomorphic to, well, um, this is homeomorphic to f of x, and then we have the loop space of uh, y. Okay? Now, passing this to pi zero. So pi zero of x equals the, denotes the path components okay, of x Right, and um, um, the set of the, if we denote the class of maps based, the homotopy class of based maps from x to y is this, this can be identified with pi zero of f of x, y, right? Now, so if we use this fact, we can pass this homeomorphism to pi zero. So basically we apply pi zero to both sides, leaving us with um, that the class of maps from the suspension of x to y is homeomorphic to the class of maps from x to the loop space of y. Okay, and um, well, yeah, now we're gonna define some more stuff, right? Okay, so, um, like with paths, we can define the path product. We can actually define multiplication on the set 
of base maps from the suspension of x to y. Okay, we can define multiplication on this. All right, so if we have maps g and f, which take you from the suspension of x to some y, then g plus f a pl uh, a, um, of x smash t, this is equal to f of x smash 2t for t between 0 and a half, and g of x smash 2t minus 1 for t between a half and 1. Okay? Okay, so now, just as we proved that the fundamental group is a group, okay, we can prove in the same way that the class of maps from x, the suspension of x to y, okay, is a group. And it, we can prove this in literally a, such analogous fashion to the fundamental group, and it will take quite a while, so I'm not going to bother doing it, but yeah. Okay, just observe it for now. And I'm going to leave it to you to show that the set of maps from the suspension of the suspension of x to y is abelian. I don't know how to spell abelian, I hope I did it right. It's an abelian group, of course. Um, uh, an abelian group. Okay. All right, now, um, oh yeah, cofiber sequences. We're going to take a look at one last thing, okay? This is very interesting, cofiber sequences. Okay, so if we define, um, okay, so if we have a base map F, which takes from X to Y, so let it be, is a base map. Okay, then, uh, we define the homotopy cofiber C of F equal to Y, so the codomain, and then you push it out with the c cone of X, which I defined a little bit before this. Okay, so this is how we define the homotopy, uh, the, 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 the cofiber homotopy. Uh, what was called okay <laughs> anyway uh, moving on um yeah we define it like this and um well now if we have um i taking you from y to c f be the inclusion okay and if we have pi, which takes you from CF to the suspension of X, then we have this sequence. All right, so X maps via F to Y. And this maps via I, the inclusion, to CF. And this maps via pi to the suspension of x. Now, what can we do from here? Well, we can define a map which takes you from the suspension of x, okay, to the suspension of y. And I'm going to define this in a second. Now, this takes you um, via this map again, I'll define it in a second. Negative sigma um, i to the suspension of the homotopy cofiber. Okay, and I didn't want to do this, but okay, I'll do it. And this takes you via. Um, this map again, I'll define it in a second, T 
to the suspension of the suspension of X and then this takes you via this map applied to itself okay to the suspension of the suspension of Y okay right now where negative Sigma of F applied to X smash T is equal to F of X smash 1 minus T okay and this is called the cofiber sequence generated by this map okay anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next video as I said we're going to be looking at topology 3.1 where I'll be doing homotopy groups until then um, goodbye and uh, don't forget to join CPC discord will be in the description goodbye